Hello, and welcome to another BNT unboxing video. Today we are uh, going to take a look at something a little different, not video game related at all, or computers. We're taking a look at an old post office lockbox. Uh, this is actually a reproduction that I got probably 20 years ago for Christmas. And recently I sold it on eBay, and the buyer got it and said it didn't work. Uh, so they sent it back and how to repair it. So this, is what, this video is just going to be a, if you have a similar situation and your lockbox looks like this one, this may be how you can fix it. So I've actually gone and uh, reset it up the way it was when I got it back from the, the buyer. And we're going to go through the process of how to get into it, how to fix it, and what caused it. So first we'll, I'll show you what the problem is. Um, so if you notice, if you turn one dial, the other one might actually turn with it. Um, you can kind of hear it rattling a little bit, but this combination is J and O plus 1. And there's a 99% chance it won't work. Alright, so, won't work. So what do we do? We've got to open it up. Um, this particular unit has uh, screws top and bottom of the hinge. So we're going to remove those and that will allow us to get the door off. Um, this top hinge actually has, or right next to it, is a lever that when you open the door will actually will lock the, um, the wheels in place. So this one can be a little tricky versus the bottom. The bottom one, super easy to get off. But uh, let's start with the top. See if that one will come off easier um, since we're doing that first. Then we'll do the bottom one. I'm using a PH0 screwdriver. A uh, PH0 or maybe a PH1 will work uh, just fine. Uh, anything smaller or bigger will probably not give you the, the grip you need. Alright, this one is coming out nicely. So we got some threads and a spindle or shaft. It's not focused, but that's what it is. Spin around to the bottom. Do the same thing. Again, the bottom one should come out a lot easier because there's no tension on it. There we go. So this one is also out. And we should be able to... Get the door to pop up. Probably best to do this on glass. There we go. And that is how you open up your lockbox if the combination doesn't work or got jammed up. So next step is to remove this plate and then I'll show you what has happened to cause this issue okay so we'll take a look at this all right as you can see um well first of all this piece right here should not be there but what has happened is this screw has become loose allowing these gears to turn independent of the the gear the uh the knobs in the front and uh, sometimes they line up and one knob will actually turn the other. Uh, so everything is completely out of whack. Uh, and the way to fix it is just to reposition this piece over here, set the gears up accordingly, and uh, tighten everything down. Um, I'll go through and do that now. Uh, to make things a little easier, we will remove this spring. Again, it does lock everything in place, so uh, these gears cannot move, which is fine if we're on the right combination, but uh, this right now is H and almost M plus 1, or no, almost M, or M minus 1, I suppose. Uh, so we'll undo the spring, adjust it, and get this back and rolling. Okay. With the spring removed, uh, and again, to remove it, you just take a needle nose and pull this end off right here. You just pull it off, 
and uh, it pops off fairly simple and that allows you to push this piece so you, you see you get the locking pin you can push it over and it allows you to turn everything and uh, set the combination to wherever you need it to be um, so if you wanted to you could change the combination um, I'm going to set it to what the box says on the bottom of it so that way I can forget and still be able to open it without taking off the hinge alright so to do this I find the simplest way is to take this screw off right here, the one that's already become loose. Take that completely off. And put those pieces off to the side so you don't lose them. Then slide the gears off. And this will allow us to work on each one independently. So we'll start with this uh, first gear. So this one, which on my combination is 0 plus 1, so we'll take this gear off so we can spin freely. And we'll take this to 0 plus 1. This part's a little tricky because it does have a tendency to, to rock and to move. So you may have to um, check it a couple of times to make sure you got lined up right. And now you want to take these this little notch right here. Which when I first saw it, I thought it was a broken gear, uh, but it's not. It's not broken. Um, and that needs to line up with this piece. This piece right here. So when you pull the lever to unlock it, it can slide into this scap. So if you don't get it lined up just right, your combination is going to be a little off. Um, let's see what we got there. Zero plus one. Okay, perfect. If I had some masking tape, that would probably make it a lot easier. Um, as these gears are fairly loose, there isn't really a lot. There, there's not um, tension on them, so you can easily bump them out of alignment. Um, so you want this one to be J. All right, before we put that one down, we need to put this piece, which I'm, I, I think it um, is a riser, so the second set of gears can line up with the second knob. And then we line that one up with the notch as well. And then we can uh, put a screw down. Now, what I'm going to do is put a little bit of thread locker on this once I confirm I have the right orientation. Okay, now that it's been verified that it does work at the correct combination, I'm going to take this screw out and put some <clears throat> this thread locker on the uh, on the screws on all the screws actually, since all of them have loosened up over the years. I think bouncing around the mail kind of did it in. Um, and the hope is that this doesn't happen again. Just put a little drop on. And uh, th this isn't the super strong stuff. Uh, this is the medium. I think it requires like 15, 20 PSI uh, to break. And I think the red was like 100 PSI. So if you got red, it's never going to come off. Um, and then I'm going to go through and add some to these two. And then the uh, unlocking mechanism lever, since that actually started to unscrew on me while I was doing this project. Uh, just a warning to everybody who's uh, going to put a thread locker on these. Uh, when you loosen up the screw here to put the thread locker on it, this piece will spin freely. So um, the best way I've found to do it is actually to line everything up. Lo open the door so you're locking the pins or the gears in place and then putting tape on this side so nothing moves then you can loosen up the screw pr put your thread locker on it and then tighten it back up without the combination changing on you without you knowing all right so now that we got all this secured we need to get the this lever the uh, spring action so that way when you open the door, it locks the gears in place. 
not entirely sure what the point of that is, um, but that's how this operates. So we're going to take the spring, we're going to hook it here, and we're just going to take the needle nose and pull it onto the other notch. There's uh, on this particular unit, there's really no locking tab, so things can slide where they please, but that's pretty much how you do it. And now we have our completed door assembly. We just well, you can't do anything. So once it's spring loaded, it's all locked in place. So you can't turn anything. Um, and if you get to this point, then you did it right. Now we just need to put it back on the, the hinge, back on the, uh, the box, close it up, try the combination again, and see if we have a, a winner. No, before we do that, to put the, uh, the cover on. This part I, I do always forget. All right, so we got the back plate on. Now we're ready to put it back on the box. Um, so this part can be a little tricky. I'll tell you now, you just kind of stand it up, screw it in, and it, it goes in from there. We'll do the uh, we'll do the top first, since it's the trickiest one. Apologies that the phone does not like to autofocus. There we go. So you do have to have it shut for the uh, the grooves to line up right. Otherwise, it's just slightly off. So just. Lay the door down in the opening, like so, and then screw it on. Um, yeah, and we'll do the bottom. That bottom's a little tricky. You just gotta squeeze it a little bit just to make sure everything is lined up. Um, and you know it's lined up when the screw starts to thread its way in. Okay. See the combination still works. Uh, oh, nope. Plus one. There we go. And that is how you repair a post office lockbox. Uh, this is a reproduction post office lockbox, so it may actually have many things different than. A real post office lockbox. Hopefully if you have an issue getting into your box, if the screws have come and loosened or something else has happened, uh, hopefully you are able to open it up and this video has given you some help. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Have a good night. Bye-bye.